Hello, my YouTubers. Welcome to the morning edition of the Maple Leafs Post Game Conference. I'm going to take you back to that right now. Enjoy the, the Post Game Conference. Deserve the two points tonight. What, what did you think of the performance? Yeah, I think that's a good way to describe it. I think um, a lot of good signs for us tonight, and uh, you know, stuff we've talked about over the last 24 hours. Um, you know, obviously we know we need to continue to defend better, not to keep the puck out of our net, and obviously we have leads, especially three goal leads, maintaining those and, and staying in control. But uh, you know, it's inevitable that uh, goals are going to go in, mistakes will happen, and it's just how we respond to those. And I like our response uh, uh, throughout the game. Um, as it was just being played, and, and uh, they crawled their way back, and we just continued to push forward and try to find the winner. And it took us all the way to the shootout, but uh, good job by the guys uh, staying with it, sticking together, and getting two points. Um, but still, uh, we know we got to keep uh, keep building from here and help with some good things. And we got a tough opponent that's uh, playing some great hockey coming in tomorrow. So excited about that and, and ending uh, this home stand off of the ring. How impressive was it uh, that Willie was able to get that pass who waited behind the net there? Yeah, I told him it was. Uh, 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 Unbelievable feed. So, just uh, great instincts, and, and obviously using his body to protect the puck and, and making the play all in, in kind of one sequence there, one motion. Uh, so, put in a great spot for me and gave me uh, uh, ample time to kind of uh, pick my spot. What are you seeing from him this season, especially since he's really hot stretch? Yeah, I think he just continues uh, uh, to grow. Uh, I think, uh, you know, I think coming off of last year, just, uh, um, you know, how he can be one, you know, really be one of the top wingers in the game and how he can impact that in all areas uh, each and every night. I think no question um, how difficult he can be to defend uh, his instincts, uh, his strength on the puck, and obviously his speed. And, and I think uh, over the course of my time with him, just continues to trust his shot more and more. I think uh, obviously some some uh, great patience in and around the net, but you know you see you see you know the one shorthanded just his ability just to use his shot and his release and deception with it, and, and it's heavy. So um, yeah, he's playing great hockey and, and fun playing with him. What are your feelings on three on three overtime? Would you like to see it extended, or are you happy with the, the five minutes? Uh, I wouldn't mind a couple extra minutes, but uh, I have a hard time believing it's going to go there. But uh, um, you know, it it's just is what it is. So um, obviously, a great opportunity to try to go out there and, and uh, finish the game off. We've we've seen it, uh, you know. A few years before this year, it always seemed to kind of end before we got to shoot out. But uh, this year, we've been in a few more of those, so just kind of the way it's been so far. What ways do you think the team took a step forward tonight? I think we battled it. I mean, going uh, when it ended up going 4-1, 4-2, 4-3, 4-4. I mean, just uh, sticking with it, and I think uh, kind of got better at that at that moment and battled through. Um, I think we had a good game uh, in that in that way. Do you take the subway to the game tonight? Yeah. yeah. Is that just a weekday weekend kind of thing for you? No, oh, it's just, like it mostly just depends on traffic. I, I hate being in traffic. But, uh, I don't want to sit in the car for 45 minutes getting down here. Is that your Samsung uh, power? Um, that super power? Taking the subway gives you extra rest or something? <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I just do it whenever the traffic's bad, so it's just, it doesn't really matter. What did you see on the feed to uh, John? Yeah, I just saw, uh, I mean, Naz jumped and kind of knew that he was open there, so just uh, put it in there and we made a nice play on the very end. Your short, your short handed goal. I mean, you're actually the first Nylander to ever score a short handed goal. In the <laughs> that's good. I think, uh, yeah. No, that's. Uh, I mean, obviously, it was fun uh, to get that one, but uh, yeah. I mean, the win is what's important. How what happy you... are you for for Max to, to contribute the way he did tonight and get the, uh, the shootout winner? Yeah, I mean, it was. Uh, a very nice play uh, early on in the game to go on. I mean, bearing that in a shootout, uh, big points for us. So, I mean, that was, uh, that was, that was sick to see. That's like the obvious need for the two points. Where do you put the value of this win for the group, given how uh, Wednesday is going? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, like I said, we just got to take it uh, day by day. And I mean, just sort of step in the right direction. And we know we got a great team coming in here. So, uh, just uh, reset and, I mean, kind of forget about this one. When you think that third line's changed since Nick Robertson's been called out? Yeah, they've had a lot of speed. I mean, been creating a lot of chances and, I mean, scoring goals. So, 
They've been doing a tremendous job. Uh, I think all three of them are fitting really well together. The ice is tricky in the in the shootout there. What are you thinking as Mitch goes through his attempt? That was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. Uh, that was wild. What are you thinking as you're going down on that shootout attempt? Uh, score. <laughs> uh, I'm just finding a way. I mean, he made a couple big saves on the, on the blocker side, so I uh, figured I would, I, would, I would take it to his club and got a little lucky with the shot. And Laura made a huge save, so massive win. Hey, Max, what's working with the line right now? Since you guys have been put together. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, we, we just try and create energy for the group every time we get on the ice, and uh, obviously, uh, um, since Ro uh, Robbie's been up, he's, he's, he's been buzzing every shift. He's, he's been making lots of good plays. And, uh, he's tenacious on the puck, so um, giving us a chance to play uh, in the Ozone quite a bit. Um, for a younger guy, he's, he's real mature with, with the decisions he's making, so he's playing good hockey. And then obviously, um, Callie's play kind of speaks for itself. You guys know how good he's been. So i um, just got to keep it up, keep building, and uh, I think it's a huge win for our group and heading in the right direction. Just got to keep building on it. 14 yep. games a year leaves career. How do you sort of felt? about it and growing into it? Uh, I mean, listen, man, we're, we're just focused on a game at a time, and as far as, uh, as, far as I'm concerned, it was a huge win, so um, it's, it's not easy to win hockey games in this league, and um, it's a good team over there, found a way to win, and uh, it's team effort, so we're going to come back and get ready to work uh, tomorrow against a real hot team in Vancouver. What's the feeling uh, on the bench when 4-1 becomes 4-4? Get that next goal. Um, obviously, uh, you know, they got some weapons over there that can, can make some plays, and um, they did. So um, good teams find ways to win when, when teams kind of put pressure on you like that, and, and that's how we did that, obviously. So um, huge character win, and um, felt good for sure. What is it? Missing from Willie right now? I mean, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. He's one of the best players in the world right now. And he, every time he touches the puck, something dangerous is happening. Um, I think everyone sees that, but you look at some of the defensive plays he made tonight, um, He's on it on that, and it speaks volumes to, to what he's doing out there. Um, he's leading by, by example for sure, and, and all the boys are following suit. So um, it's, uh, it's great to have him going at such a high pace, and he can keep going and keep building. Our, our group's going to keep following behind him. Quick turn out with the Hall of Famers in the building. Yeah. Can you make it more special. Oh, oh yeah, that was that was so cool. Um, I mean. Any time you, you have a chance to, to be a part of that and, 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 and witness, I mean, legendary people walk in front of you like that and, 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 and take that next step in the Hall of Fame after the careers they've had, um, it, it's pretty incredible and we're very, very lucky to be a part of that and, and to celebrate them. So um, it was a special night uh, for all of them and their families, obviously, and they deserve it, but it's also a special, uh, special night selfishly for us because, I mean, not every team gets to experience stuff like that. So um, big congratulations to all of them. and. Uh, Really cool night. Quick turnaround, but what are you anticipating from Vancouver? Have you caught any of their games? Or yeah, offenses? yeah, yeah. No, they, they're playing well. Um, they got a lot of guys going. Um, obviously, they're a good transition team that, that can skate well and a lot of offensive weapons. So um, they, they they go short and hard. Um, they got four lines that can roll over, so we're going to have to match that and match their intensity and, and be ready to go. It's going to be a good test, and uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. Joseph, what a battle tonight. Uh, what's the, uh, about the, the performance by the team? Yeah, um, you know, another really hard game by us, and I thought we had periods where you know we we looked really really strong um, as a group, and you know especially after them tying it in a third like that, and then we just I thought we really took it to them the rest of that period, and um, you know, I think that really carries over into into overtime and the shootout. I think when you have that momentum, what did you see on the save on the two on one there, a minute and a half into overtime? You know, maybe, yeah, um, I saw a pass and. <laughs> Save. <laughs> no, it was uh, yeah, just um, trying to trying to give my team the best chance to win and stay dialed in the moment. What's How three on three over ten like for a goal for you? Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. Oh, yeah. um, you get uh, guys to really like you know opens up the range and guys can really show their skill and you know especially for our team it's I wish I was a fan watching when we were out there playing overtime watching some of the guys play. Um, it's uh, it's it's exciting. Overtime and shootout is some fun moments. What is the key for a goalie for you? What's your approach to the shootout to have success? Um, yeah, I mean it's it's just you and the shooter, so trying to stay patient and um, you know, trying to clear my head and just be really focused and, and trusting uh, in my instincts. Do you study any any tape on the uh, the shooters? Like, do you, do you learn their moves at all before the game or not? Not so much. Um, there's a lot of different players, and you know, shootouts are, are pretty rare. And I, 
I try not to do much thinking, honestly, and I think that that serves me well, just reacting and you know, trusting myself. What are you seeing from William Nylander right now? Yeah, he's a special player. Um, just the way, you know, how consistent he's been is, uh, is unbelievable. And you know, even like, in overtime at the end there, he gets the puck in our zone and the crowds are cheering. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, so, you know, I'd, I'm really, uh, really happy for all success and uh, he's helping the team. Sheldon said he wanted to go back to you. He figured you'd flush it right away like you've done the whole season. Like Personally, how did you feel coming off the other game and how you played tonight? Yeah, I'm really uh, really happy I got the opportunity to come back in and I'm um, happy with you know, the faith that the coaches and the team has in me. And um, I'm just glad to, to be able to get back in the win call today. Some goaltending royalty in the building today. What was it like to play in front of the three of those guys that play in the same position as you going over the hall? Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Um, just to start a game looking over and seeing on quest. <laughs> Those guys, like, it's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen them up close like that. Um, so it's uh, that's pretty cool and um, something to aspire to. So then what's going through your mind when 4-1 becomes 4-4? Four, four? Keep playing. Playing really, played really well. So just keep playing. I like that we didn't get rattled. You know, like we, we didn't give the game away. The fact that, that after they made it 4-4 four, four, might have been the best we played all game. Um, third period was our best period, so you know sometimes things don't go your way or whatever. But again, here tonight is a good. It's a good game. A lot of good things for us. It's the least amount of scoring chances we've given up all season in five on five. Uh, just keep building. For Max to get the shootout goal, first goal as a leaf, really. But considering how his game has really come around the last three or four, is it going to be happy for him? Then? Yeah, go for him. If I'm not mistaken, it's his first career shootout goal. So uh, we had uh, we had some exchanges early in early in the season. We had sort of practiced in the shootout, and, and uh, he wasn't thrilled with where with where his spot was in, in the rotation. And I reminded him that he has not scored a goal, so I wasn't overly excited about giving him too many chances. But um, he, we practiced it, and we talked about it, and. And you know, you reminded me. He's hit a few posts. He's been close, um, but yeah, for it for it to work today, like he's talking about it. He's been playing well for us. He had another really good night tonight. So for him, like that, and come through in the moment, uh, it's great for him. Just another thing that he can continue to build on. You uh, say with Nylander that you haven't yet. Uh, I would, what I would say is uh, that I haven't said yet is that he was excellent defensively tonight. Excellent. As good as he was on offense, he was as good defensively. Yeah, uh, just there in the third period, like he was just in perfect spots. Puck came right to him. He killed the play. Got us going the other way, or broke up some plays. Um, so that's what I would say about him. I thought his commitment defensively today was the best it's been all season long. Is that why you put him out there on the penalty kill? He said he sensed maybe there was some some hesitation in that moment. Uh, there was part of it. Like it was part of it. I, I actually uh, at the time I wanted. I was. I was ready to call he and Austin to kind of finish the penalty together. But Yardcroc uh, sort of early changed on me a little bit, and, and Willie happened to be right in front of me. So before I could call the two, I called, just called Willie first and um, happened to go our way. You obviously get these Hall of Fame games come through every year, uh, this time of year, but uh, it seems like the, the guys that are here in first season, they get especially emotional watching these Hall of Famers come through and just uh, this taking place in front of their eyes. Well, what are you seeing uh, from guys like Domi and... Uh... Yeah, I think it's just, you know, I think it's, it's terrific for us to be a part of those moments. You know, it's a privilege uh, to be here in Toronto and have uh, people coming in. You're a part of that. I mean... What an honor for these uh, Hall of Famers to have this this moment, this recognition, and to be here to be a part of it. I think as you're you're coming up through the league, and well, uh, you know, really all all the people on the ice as you're growing up, you're watching them, and you know who they are, and you're seeing them have their moment. Uh, I I think it's pretty special and gives you a chance to sort of you know see that hard work and commitment and success and all these things that get rewarded and, and acknowledged and um you know it's, it's terrific to be a part of I, I really enjoyed it you know my time here to be to be here for that uh for that moment and have the fans react the way that they do it's a it's a it's a very obviously unique thing here in toronto and, and uh, special tonight coach's decision or is he battling something 
No, it was coach's decision. You know, this, he, he's, he's having some bad luck right now. You know, I, I, I comb through, I look at every single goal against that he's been on for, and I still can't find one that I could pin on him in terms of making a mistake. Puck just keeps going in our net. Um, but, uh, yeah, coach's decision for us. I, I needed to be able to use more guys. The pace of the game was high today, especially through, through two periods. It was up and down the ice. And, um, I needed to use more guys. It just made the decision to, to, to use really 11. Joseph sees four go in, but he battles in overtime and the shoot it there. What, what stood out about his night? Yeah, just to stand his ground, like you say, game's on the line in overtime and shoot out the points on the line. Um, I guess like our team, you know, four go in again, but not rattled. Like, we just keep playing. I, I don't know if we gave up a scoring chance after they scored the fourth goal. Like, we just kept playing, um, and we did a good job there until overtime. You know, we were, I didn't love our overtime, certainly, but... Uh, Joe, uh, luckily for us, uh, saved his best for there, there in the shootout. So that's really good. It's, a, it's an important win for him and an important win for our team. But once again, as I said, I, I think it, our process of how we're playing to, is improving. The door gave us a lot here tonight, and that's really helped the group. So, you know, you know four going again, you, you don't love that. we got to shrink that number, no doubt. But we're playing the best that we've played here Uh you know, and uh, there's something for us to continue to build on. Just quick side on the connection. I certainly did. I think he did lose the puck in the shootout, but he was lucky for us to be able to find his way out of that. I mean, what a play to, to be able to turn that into a goal and save the game like that. Hudson facing the Canucks, another high power team. Yeah, I mean, we'll talk about them tomorrow. I got to, you know, uh, take a breath. We'll, uh, we'll move on to tomorrow from, from here. Hope you enjoyed that post game conference. I will see you later on tonight when the Leafs take on the Vancouver Canucks and then the Raptors take on um, the Boston Celtics. So see you guys later. Bye for now. This is Johnny Watson reporting for Johnny Watson Sportscast. Bye for now.